Art Nerd. So it's been two years, but I'm actually back with you guys with a My Life with ADHD. I have some updates I want to share with you guys, and I want to share a method I'm currently using that's working really well for helping me stay on track with my projects. Okay, so even though I can't see you guys, I can feel the heart of the cards. I can feel your hearts out there. Raise your hands if you don't you know you should use a planner and you always start to use a planner and then you don't use a planner right yeah me too so I definitely do use planners for let me see if I can find this one's a weird one because it actually started mid-month okay so I actually do use planners and I have for a really long time for Ooh, sorry I hit the camera Y'all okay? Um, for scheduling videos. So everything you guys see in red here, those are all YouTube videos. When I schedule, when I have time to write blog posts in advance, those are scheduled with blue. Um, I also coordinate my classes and other appearances using different color highlighters to make it something I can tell at a glance. Like for example, this orange streak here denotes St. Charles Parish classes. This has already happened. This was January. Um, purple denotes notes two different art classes I was going to teach one of them got canceled so I'm only teaching the light purple one now and then this color pink denotes plaza classes right so I was using a planner for like actual things that require scheduling and planning which is important but that wasn't all I needed a planner for and I would even get distracted and doodle really cute things in my planner um, while I was scheduling things, right? But like this wasn't all that I needed. I really needed more from a planner, but I wasn't utilizing it. And look, this planner even has like a week spread that I just wasn't using. So um, I knew I was going to need another planner in June anyway, and I kind of wanted to move away from this one to do a one or a two year, like full year planner. What I ended up doing is when I was in Louisiana, we went to Michael's a lot for just like, you know, I did the gift guide and then I also did the artist love kit thing. And I just, I hit Michael's a lot. And I noticed the happy planners, which at $30 a pop, I thought was stupid expensive. However, I knew that in January and like right now, these are on sale for half off and I felt good paying $15 for a happy planner. So the base planner I got was just like a month view planner. It has inserts, but I'm not really satisfied with the inserts they have. They have a budgeting insert and they have a fitness insert. And something I'd like to make for my art nerds is like art goals and art tracking inserts. And that might be a future thing when I'm, after I've finished with Kara. But anyway, the base planner, it's like you can make this yourself. Like if you want to, if you want to put the time in and you want to print it, you can make it yourself. You can make your own cover because the covers are just like laminated, right? And they even sell the rings if you want the rings. And these are, they even sell a special punch. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to damage the cover I have. Like, yeah, you could put time into doing this. And I've done binder planners before. I used to have a Russell and Hazel planner. Um, and we'll see how long I stick with this. I'm really trying as with most of us with ADHD we have real good intentions and then we get distracted and we get knocked off track and then we never get back on so I'm hoping to stay on track with this so what I got originally is just like the base planner right it just has like I'll remove this for a second so you guys can see it has the month view and then it has week views what I like about these week views is I can set them up differently than with that other planner and it's also a smaller planner and like let's be real okay this is not Lisa Frank but it is so Lisa Frank and I was I was born in 86 so I'm a 90s person and like I really like bright colors and I really like lots of colors and I really like pastels and I really like really puppy bubblegum colors right so like the colors are really fun and it makes me want to use the planner, which is an important part. It's also, it's cute, but it's not full of like twee, cutesy woo stuff overly. There's some, you know, but it's not overly full of that. So that also kind of helps me. I don't want daily fake inspirational quotes by someone who doesn't know or care about me and is just out to make a buck. Like, I'm very... <laughs> salt about that but this one's really cute and they have other styles this is the one I like the most and I got it on half off which makes me happy I don't really 
care about the get busy babe a fake lean in kind of stuff but um i like the colors i like the rainbow i like the little hearts right i i'm not like a big quote or hand lettering person i've also been decorating it with my own stickers just to make it more personalized and more fun like you'd think as an artist i would cover it with my art or want to do my own cover but no that's distracting for me that's like that's taking me off task so um I started with the base planner and at the time I bought it I also bought a note pack insert that it doesn't go with the style I don't care it matches enough that's fine with me um and it fit and it was cheap so I bought this and what I like is that with this style and yeah with any binder you could do this you could do this with a Dollar Tree binder okay like it's, it's really about finding something that works for you I can slot these pages in so like this is for my class right so these are class notes and I put them in the middle of my month view for January so I can take class notes okay something else I want to show you guys is I've started an incentive system that used to work when I was five and it still works apparently Every day I work on Kara, I get to put a sticker on the month view to show myself that I worked on Kara. And this is actually great for several different reasons. So, for one, when um, I'm working on 7-inch Kara Volume 2, I no longer know how long it takes me to do things, right? Like, I've gotten longer at some things, I've gotten faster at some things, teaching kind of breaks up my time differently. I can't devote 10 hours painting on the floor all day. My body won't allow it. I'm doing YouTube stuff now. Like I have different responsibilities than when I did volume one. So this is allowing me to keep track in a very visual way of what days I'm working on Kara. Um, it also incentivizes me because I am, I am very easy, okay? Um, don't break the chain is a method that works really well. And I think I talked about that in another planner video and also um, earning that sticker is really important. I don't even like these poo stickers, okay? They came in a Zen Pop, and Zen Pop usually sends like really cool, really cute stuff, and other people like the poo stickers. I didn't really like the poo stickers, so I don't feel bad using them in my planner. I may need to move on to something that I really like so I can like have like a more Becca aesthetic reward, but it doesn't matter for now, poo stickers. And also, now I've started writing at the end of each day what part of the project I completed on the day or what I worked on. And this is going to be helpful later on for volume three for tracking my time and kind of understanding how long it's going to take me to do things. So um, that's kind of the base planner with the month view. I'm going to show you guys something else. I'm going to remove this for a moment. We're going to talk about that in a sec. So this is my week view, and I know it looks chaotic. I want to move over to a color coding system really soon. Um, so you have room over here for notes, and you also have room under each day. Some people, like, the way I think they're pushing this is, like, to use it like a journal because they have a punch, and you can put photos up here. Y'all, uh, y'all, I'm ADHD. Like, eh, that's cute. But I can't, that's not me. What I might, what I was kind of tempted to do was to do a little doodle for every day. But that's just another distraction, right? Like I keep piling distractions on my plate. I don't need to do that. So instead, what I'm doing these days is I'm just drawing like my to-do list. Or I'm writing my to-do list for every day. And you can see after a week, it does start to get kind of chaotic. Which is why I kind of want to move over to a color-coded system. I think visually I can handle that a little bit better. But it's just to-do. It's not even necessarily scheduling stuff because I'm still using the other planner for now for scheduling YouTube and, and blog content, but it's mostly just to-do list and I can check it off as I go along. And it works really well because for a while I was doing like to-do lists on post-its and putting it on my desk and sometimes I'll lose them or I'll like justify not making one. And there was like a period of time many periods of time where I'll spend a week where I feel like I'm just sitting in my chair all day vibrating in place um, trying to force myself to work and completely unable to focus on any one task so I'll do task da, 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 and never get anything done right because I'm very easily distracted so having this keeps me more accountable and I know it seems super basic like it's something we all know we're supposed to do and then we don't do it because it takes time to write lists, but I'm trying to reframe how I'm thinking about the time I'm spending doing this as planning 
as investing that time so I'm more efficient, so I'm not just vibrating in place all day and then I'm angry at myself and at the world because I had to force myself to do something. You know what I mean? So like, look, we even have the My Life with ADHD 2020 planner on here for Sunday, right? And I will also write in things like I have my class written in here. I have like Joseph went to go see Paw Patrol with his nephew. So I have that in here. So even like fun stuff gets written in. So this here is so I'm currently painting another because I didn't like how the first one turned out not that it was ugly it was just not what a cover should be um these are notes like critique notes to myself that I write each day after I've painted all day on the cover for things I want to do so I have this in the week view I can add more pages if I want I can toss this if I want like it's it's flexible for me something else I have so um I liked I liked what I got and I wanted more like I wanted to get a plastic insert where I could put like my stickers or I could put like tickets for things or I could um y'all know what I mean right like y'all y'all get it and I could not find plastic inserts for this happy planner so Joseph pointed out that I could really easily make my own and at first I kind of waffled on that because like my life is full of like well I could just do this myself and then it never happens but he's not wrong like um yes I could buy the punch I'm not that's a $30 punch that literally only works for this and I have like a whole punch I could do it and then I could just slit the paper for like a plastic sleeve so I could buy like um, just as long as it's the right size or similar to the right size, I could go to Walmart and get like photo sleeves or something and put those in and put tickets and stickers and other useful things. Or I could see what Amazon has and modify it, you know. So what I did since then is I went to Michael's, which is still having a 50% off sale on these things because it's still January, but not January 1st. And I bought some different inserts and I thought these were just like a checklist but what I realized after I bought them and got them home is that they actually fold out which is neat because I'm always expanding my ideas and they also have more room on the back and it's like bank envelopes I feel like every time I'm in Louisiana I go through like a million bank envelopes so like there's these and as you can see up front here in the important part of the book I have like a Kara volume 2 prep checklist that I'm currently working on and then I can get rid of this because that's um, already done stuff like that and what I'd like is like okay so they have like this social media insert that frankly gives me an anxiety attack because all of the metrics they're tracking for that particular insert I I don't like it okay so it's all about like your likes and your comments and tracking popularity rather than tracking like this is the content that I made. This is the content that's still being edited. This is the content I want to make. This is what I need to make that content. This is where I need to promote that content. You know what I mean? Like it's all stuff I can't control. It's just numbers that I can't control versus actionable things I could work on. So um, a social media insert with the art inserts might also be something I would consider making to just for like any planner system, you know, like a generic one. So um, I bought these and I like them. I also got, <laughs> I also got like another one of the notepads and like, okay, to be real, it's because I think their rings are so cute. <laughs> Whatever. 50% off. And it's got dot grid paper inside and these can be removed and put in here or vice versa I could fold them if I want to so um, I kind of like that flexibility and originally I was gonna get a cover for this that could hold like pens and stuff but you know I don't really need all that so um to keep my stickers handy because I use them as a reward system I use double stick tape and just like a little baggie and taped it in and then put the big <laughs> the big poo sticker on the front as like a reminder to myself that these are stickers and um, something else I can do is I can use this to hold like the overflow for these. So I only need to have a few of these in here or the overflow for this, you know, justifying having more plastic. And then something else I did is I got, this is a Jane Davenport zipper bag. It's a belly band for like sketchbooks, but it doesn't hold like anything, right? Like, come on. But it matches my, my planner super cute. And it also 
can be used to do 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 Yes. It can also be used to like keep the supplies that I specifically use with my planner in together. So like I've been using multi pens for a while to color coordinate things and I need to find my zebra mod liners. They've gone for a walk because I use those when I'm scheduling classes to designate which class is which. And then just like the little Muji pin that I usually use in here. So, um, and I might pop a black pin in here because all this color is starting to, it's very cute. Okay. But it's hard for me to parse like all this blue, like black would have been easier for me to parse because there's already so much color. So it's a little bit, little bit overstimulating, like especially this is okay but like this is a lot and my brain is just like ah that's so much so um i'm feeling really good about this i've been making a lot of good progress on kara with the sticker system and with the the list and i've been making good progress on my classes and i've been making good progress on like outlining things and i used to be a planner person not like not like planner people are now but like i'm adhd like i've always been really reliant on planners to keep me focused and on track because otherwise i just vibrate in place for three hours so um finding a planner system i like being able to modify it in a way that it works for me being able to design my own inserts, you know, if I want to add time. I, and my friend Allie pointed out that there are people on Etsy who sell custom inserts. So it might be better if I just go find an art insert. But I also kind of feel like only an artist, only a productive artist would know what another productive artist might look for in an art insert. And I also know from running the paint box that a lot of people need accountability and they need someone checking in on them. So like having a custom designed thing might be a better choice. On that note, so I have warm ups written on my daily view every day, okay? And on the paint box, I created a daily draw board and people aren't really using it kind of the way I had in mind, but you know, discords are meant to evolve, communities are meant to evolve, so I'm not gonna like overly police it. But what I wanted them to do was to use the daily draw board to challenge themselves every day to doing warm ups and to doing studies and to doing practice and sharing that. So um, people are kind of posting a lot of like character design stuff on there, but that it doesn't really matter. What really matters to me is um, almost every day I've kind of fallen off because I've been doing a lot of animal stuff that I don't like and I don't, well, it's not that I don't like it. I just don't want to share it to the board. But I've been doing warm ups every day again, like I used to, like a good artist. And, um, mostly the warm-ups I'm do. Whoa, sorry about that. This works better anyway. A little, little adventure together. Um, just like my life. It's like a roller coaster. Uh, anyway, most of my warm-ups are human-based warm-ups from Senshi Stock. My goal is to spend five minutes per drawing every day because I, I'd worked for several years to get faster and faster and faster. Now I'm trying to build myself back up to noticing and paying attention to detail and to capturing certain body landmarks better. So um, I am supposed to be spending five minutes per figure every day doing figure drawings. What I've been doing, oh, and then I also added doing head studies in because somebody pointed out that they, they feel like my heads look kind of flat and I don't really know what they specifically are t talking about. But I've decided, okay, yeah, you know, like I want to be able to draw faces better anyway. So I'm going to put more focus back onto drawing faces and paying attention to what I'm doing and the construction of the faces as I'm doing it and how they connect to the neck. So like, even if you don't understand critique, sometimes it, you can still use it to motivate future work and to propel your your ability. Anyway, though, um, I haven't been doing the people as much because I've been doing a, I'm looking for, I'm sorry, a bunch of animal drawing. And these are just a few. And I don't necessarily like them as much as I like the people drawing. So I haven't been sharing, oh, like this terrible lion. Um, so I haven't really been sharing them. I should. I should put myself out there just like everybody else. Um, because I need to learn and I need to grow as well. But this is where my time's been going instead of the people drawing while I've been working on those tutorials. So anyway, that was just kind of a my life with ADHD 
checkup. I really want to continue to utilize this to help me stay on track because that's what planners are for, for those of us with ADHD. I mean, if you want to use a planner to like memorialize your beautiful Instagram worthy life, like more power to you. But like some of us <laughs> need this for other purposes. So um, I'd like to see more when, if you want my money, if you want other artists money, think about that. And also like for reals though, please, whoever makes, I know this is the happy planner people, a symptom tracker would be amazing. I have a friend who converted a budget planner to a symptom tracker because they don't make symptom trackers, but there are a lot of people who have lifelong illnesses that need to be tracked. I have anxiety. I would love a symptom tracker, tracker that I could use to track my anxiety so I could pinpoint what days tend to have more triggers than others. Like that would just be useful. If you want my money, that would be a good way to get my money. The art um, focused ones that are actually focused not on like be creative every day not like Jane Davenport art but like um, you know drawing skills skill building sharing your art would be great and then for social media not focusing on likes and comments but focusing on building things that things you can do would be also really cool I would love that um, so like or just stuff that like takes in like goal building because they do have some goal building stuff but the boxes are so tiny and there's so much on one page like I I would love to see goal building goal tracking stuff designed for like people who have big projects that they're working on but I'd like to see it in like a cute format that I actually would like to use and I'd also like to see more stuff for men that isn't just like office stuff, you know what I mean? Like um, just like dry, um, very, very cut and dry. Like there's money to be made there. There's a lot of dudes with ADHD who would like to have stylish ways to keep track of their stuff. And I know some of them are doing it digitally, but some of us do better writing things down by hand. So like maybe also don't just focus on like cutesy woo stuff aimed at like the female gaze, but also focus on helping people who might be like not necessarily into the feminine aesthetic or I don't know what you want to call it, rainbow vomit cuteness. Um, People who might just want like stylish looking stuff without it being like super bright. I like super bright, but there's lots of people who they don't want something that's just completely soulless. So they don't use the soulless looking stuff, but they also don't want something that's overly twee either. So that could be like a good market to look into. People with ADHD, people with disabilities, people with learning disorders, we want this sort of help and we feel like y'all ignore us in favor of crafters which like no no shame but like when it comes to planners we could be your target demographic we need it so i actually like it i've given some feedback on what i think i would like better what would make it more useful for me as an artist personally because this system is all about personalizing it to you so those are just some like free free focus group gems um i'm sure some of you guys might be interested in that as well so if you are a fellow ADHD or you have a learning disability that strongly requires this sort of organization in order to get your life together, I would love to hear what tools you're using or you have a kid or a loved one and you're the one tracking for them. I would love to hear what tools you guys are using to help you guys with this sort of organization. I'd love to see what you guys use to keep your life in check. Something else I love, and I'm going to do it when I have kids, but I don't have the space and I don't have the room and I don't have the time now, would be a giant calendar wall, like a wall of my house that's a whiteboard and has like a blank calendar and we write all their stuff on the calendar so they can always see it and it's like in the den or some room we frequent a lot maybe the kitchen and it's just there because like quite frankly I like cute things but aesthetic doesn't triumph over utilitarianism and as somebody who needs these kinds of things that's more important to me so that's something I would like to do in the future when I'm not only keeping track of my life but other people's lives 
So, but this is working for me right now. I hope it continues to work for me right now. And I love to see what you guys suggest and what's working for y'all right now. So, um, something else I'm doing is I'm marking birthdays with like really cute stickers. Um, I'm not like a big holiday person myself, but I do care about birthdays. So, you know, this is just like a quick and appealing visual reminder that, oh, hey, we have a special day coming up. I mean, March, a lot of great things happen in March, in my opinion. So, um, you know, decorated a little bit more special. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful, useful, informative for you guys. If the Happy Planner does make planners that fit other aesthetics than what I saw at Michael's, which was a lot of pink, a lot of pastel, a lot of roses, a lot of get em, girl kind of stuff, let me know because I have male ADHD friends who enjoy this kind of stuff can benefit from this kind of stuff. So, um, you know, I'd love to be able to point them to resources that they would find useful too, because I think it's unfortunate that we kind of ignore other, like, we ignore that men can have learning disabilities and can have, I mean, yeah, ADHD is traditionally seen as like a male disorder. I've had so many people be like, you can't have it. Only boys can have it, which like, thanks. Um, makes me feel real seen, but um, a lot of the sort of resources are aimed at women because there's this notion that women are the ones who are planning the family life and keeping their kids and their husband organized. But I think making appealing organizational stuff for men and for people who don't like cute rainbow vomit or roses or pastels or rose gold would be a great move to make also because there's a wider world out there than people who shop at Michael's. And I might have missed that because I just got it at Michael's. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like maybe the paper source has it or maybe like a dedicated stationery store has it. Or I mean, that's something I like that Japan does is like they have all kinds of different planners and planner options. So maybe we could import more of that. And yeah, I do know there is a store online that does that kind of stuff and I don't give them my money and I don't advertise for them. So ignoring that one store, I'd like to see more stores do it too. So get on it. Anyway, that was a My Life with ADHD update. I hope you guys found it helpful, useful, and informative, maybe even inspiring. And I look forward to seeing what you guys use to keep your life organized down in the description below. Feel free to link me your Instagrams or wherever you share photos, or you can join me over on the paint box and drop links or photos of, you know, what you like. Anyway, have a great day, guys. Bye!